Now it's time to take a closer look at constructors in Java, but first let me show you how we can call the move and stuff function on our uh, objects that we created. So we can type here uh, uh, car1, car, not car1, car dot move. So now we're calling the move function on the car object and car dot stop, stop. And we can also do the same thing for our uh, second car, car2 dot move and car2 dot stop. So now if you run this without that, stop. So now if you run this, now we get, uh, first we get that car Tesla is moving, the car Tesla has stopped. And let's uh, change a little bit here the, to have a space. So let's run this again. So we have the car Tesla is moving, the car Tesla has stopped. So those functions are called on the, the, the on this specific object. And then we get, uh, uh, we get Tesla is played black and four for the fields. And then we get the car Ford is moving. So if we have our second object, the car Ford is moving, the car Ford has stopped. And we get uh, the value for our fields using the getters. So you get Ford, Mustang, Red, 2 and car. Now let's take a closer look at constructors and uh, let's say that uh, for whatever reason the person which creates this uh, object doesn't want to provide a value values to all uh, to all of our parameters. So here when when you, when you construct when you construct your object when, we, when you construct your object using the constructor, uh, I cannot uh, say let's say I cannot let the last parameter uh, on field because it will show an warning so it's, it expects a parameter so what you can do is that you can create a first uh, let's say uh, an empty constructor and for that i'm going to type here public car and i'm going to put only parentheses and curly braces and now this empty constructor will, will, is going to call the 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 parent or the first constructor, the constructor which does all the initialization. And we're gonna pass for the name default, we're gonna pass for the parameter default value. So we're gonna pass name uh, for the model, model for the color, color for the doors, uh, for the doors we're gonna put zero. So if somebody from outside the class creates an object and it do doesn't provide any value for our uh, for our uh, 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 for our constructor, those values are going to be used for the constructor. So this what is doing it, this and uh, is calling the constructor which is here. This is what this is doing. This parenthesis default values is calling this constructor. So now if I go here and I create uh, another car, so, but let me delete this, this code because it will make things confusing. So let's delete this code. And if I go down here and now if I delete all the values for our car too, as you can see, uh, everything is fine. Let's press control Z because I need the, to output in the console the values for car too. So let's delete those. Let's delete, let's delete this. So now let's delete the values inside the constructor. All right. So now if you run this, as you can see, you don't have an ordering now because now it's using this constructor that we have here, which is an empty constructor, which is calling the constructor from above and it's passing the default values because now here you're not passing any values for the constructor. So now if you run this, we get the car name is moving, the car name has stopped and get name model core. So we get our default values because the empty constructor is called and the empty constructor is calling the constructor that is defined here. So we can also go and we can create another constructor here. So I can type here public and provide the value for only for the name public car. And I will type uh, string name. I'm going to put curly braces and now I will, I will type this and I will pass the name which is going to be passed here. 
And for the next value, I'm going to provide provide uh, we're going to provide default values. I'm going to type color. No, sorry, model should be model color and number of door zero. And I can do the same thing for, for, for uh, with another constructor. So I can provide another constructor and provide values on, only for the model, model and color. So model, sorry, string model. And here instead of passing this default value, we're going to pass model. And I'm going to show you how all of this works immediately. Model, semicolon, semicolon here and here. And here we have name, it should be this one name. All right, and uh, now let's uh, press Control D. No, it's not working. So let's copy this and let's uh, pay. Let's paste it here. So uh, now I'm going to provide the value for the model and uh, a value for the color. So we're going to type here. Uh, string color. So I'm going to type here color and model semicolon. And now I can copy this and I will uh, call the first constructor which is going to, but I don't need to do that because that uh, we already have a constructor which provides values for all the all the all the fields. So if you create your object and you want to provide only the name, you provide the name. The name is going to be assigned, and the rest of the fields are going to have, are going to have those three field uh, values. If you provide only the name and the model, then the co the color in uh, zero is going to be uh, the color in uh, the number number of doors is going to be. It's going to be color and zero. It's going to have those default values. And if you provide uh, uh, the name, the model, and the color, but not the number of doors, it's going to have the number of doors zero. So if I go here and uh, with look, if I uh, put here Ford, now if I run this, now it's using the constructor with. Uh, uh, so we have uh, we have Ford model color. So it's using this constructor. What is that constructor? So it's using this constructor here because now we're passing a value name, name for our uh, for our uh, class, and the next ones are uh, defaulted. And you can do the you can do here provide another value. For, let's say the model Mustang, and now it's gonna use this constructor, which is here, this constructor, and it's gonna get the name that we type, the model that we type, is going to pass them to the uh, primary constructor, for, to the parent constructor if you want, and for the color and doors, it's going to have those default values, and so on. You can provide name, model, and color, and for the doors, it's going to be zero. So this is how you can use uh, multiple constructors with your, um, with your classes, and uh, I will see you on the next video.